welcome. Thank you for being here this evening. Who's excited? That sounds good. Who's excited the bar's gonna reopen after this is all over? Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what we wanna hear. We just got a few key messages tonight, but they're important ones. It's a night of excitement, it's a night of transition, and I think we're gonna tie in a few themes that we've been speaking about for a few years that a lot of you are living day to day, more on a global level that are, are gonna be of interest to you. So you think about this whole Patty Brand and why we're sitting here, there's been, oh, more than 50 years of hard work and dedication and passion for and a belief in Patty by our loyal membership, like yourselves and your clients, the divers around the world. And we are undeniably now the way the world learns how to dive. And that used to be the slogan, but we in fact are that. When you think about it, 28 million certifications and adding 1 million every single year on year after that, there's more Patty divers exploring the underwater space than any other kind of diver ever in the history of the planet. How cool is that? So because of your good work and your belief in what we're doing for all those decades, we're the trusted authority in diver education. And we clawed and scratched our way to that place many decades ago, and now we've earned it and we're holding it. And PADI members have been introducing millions of souls around this planet who are now confident and are now comfortable to explore it from the whole surface to the abyss. And we like to look at that space from surface to the abyss. And that's the space, that vertical, on this planet that we own, that we love, and that we explore, we train people for. So I'd like to kick off this night overviewing my strategy and my vision for this organization. And that brand video you just saw is just the start. And so we're thinking about where we're going. And we're gonna tie things in to the deeds, the resources, the plans, the things that we put into what we're doing, the tools out there for you to utilize to make your practice and your passion for diving, however you're expressing it, in all the many countries that are here, and all of your brothers and sisters across the planet who are like-minded and share in this, this organization are executing on a day-to-day -day basis. So the brand video is just the start. So tonight, tonight you're gonna hear about an intensified focus, somebody broke a glass, and direction. <laughs> That's good, there's not a bar fight over there, is there? An intensified focus and a direction for Patty leadership, and really an exciting mission and vision a proclamation, if you will, for this brand. A proclamation, when I say that, not within the dive industry, but certainly within the dive industry, but not limited to that, a proclamation for the planet, which elevates this brand that we've known and loved and continue to put our shoulder into every day in our lives to a new level. And I believe that's gonna bond us all closer together as this international community moving forward. And just remember, we're in 183 countries. So you think about our divers, you think about your brothers and sisters that are in retail or in resort, that are divers or dive masters or instructors. That's a big space across the planet, but somehow we're all connected, which is pretty rare in itself. And then the divers that we've produced, they've immersed in, they've explored, and they've embraced the oceans. And as I said a minute ago, more so than any other group of human beings in the history of the planet. That includes any kind of explorer that's gone under the surface of the water to have a peak. That Patty brand, if you will, that Patty experience, going back to 1966, with 28 million plus a million plus a million every year strong, constitutes the largest group of human beings to explore the planet, only because you folks believe in that, train well, make them confident, make them comfortable, and then you basically execute their adventures and their interests across what you offer. And we're going to try to make that easier when you start thinking about some of the things we've been doing, and we're trying to tie it together tonight with some of our messages. So think about the diving experience. For me, it's very sensory. It wraps around our bodies. And it wraps around our hearts. And I would dare say it wraps around our souls. And we've spent our lives experiencing this majesty of the ocean. And we felt awe. Awe is an emotion. How many people felt awe in the last year somehow in a diving experience? Give me a, a hands up and a howdy. <laughs> now think about that. I mean, that's pretty, pretty magical, but it continues to give you awe. So we do that in the ocean, deep in the waters, shallow in the waters, and that whole activity of, of diving gives us this wonderful emotion of awe. And awe to me, and I think to you too, will will represent strong feelings of respect, admiration, amazement, 
beauty. And in all those things, it's soulful, it's spiritual, and I would suggest to you it's indeed sacred. Do you know what I'm talking about? That, that feeling of awe that's sacred to all of us and the people that we train, the people that we support in their diving adventures. And how lucky are we to offer that? And we want to bring that together in a new and different way through some of the things that we're talking about in that brand video and the experiences that you're going to hear about tonight. So it's because of that deeply emotional and personal connection, our reactions to bearing witness to the strain placed on Mother Ocean are also highly emotional, highly personal, and heartfelt. Would you agree with that? All right. So if it's emotional and heartfelt, we find ourselves, when you look at what we see, what we do, and a lot of things you see in the media, sometimes ourselves and our families and our communities, we're alternating between outrage or depression or not knowing what to do. It seems so overwhelming, so intimidating. But you can get stuck in those feelings as well. And remember the awe factor because that's going to get us unstuck. It's clear that the evidence points to that humans just haven't acted with a vision to take care of it. We get that. And it's no wonder that our oceans are facing complex challenges. We get that too. You got ocean temperatures elevating, you've got carbon emissions, you got coral reef stress, you've got proliferation of marine debris, you've got plastics and ghost gear and non-sustainable harvesting, all that stuff. You can go between feeling bummed out about it to outraged. That's just to name a few. But that's not a good place to sit, certainly not for this group, because it's in sight and in mind for the Patty family, for the diving family across the planet. And we want to do something to push back to get a better balance. So there are lots of reasons why all that stuff exists. I, I don't really think it matters as much right here tonight to talk about those reasons. What matters more is taking action, to finding solutions. And what matters more is where we stand. We have, under this global brand, a collective choice. So what I'm trying to stitch together tonight, which we've been building up to the last couple of years, is this collective choice to choose in our actions, our deeds, our marketing, in fact, our activities, to be part of a future solution. And in that being part of a solution, we choose to believe that there is indeed hope, and we, and we choose to take action. And while none of us here can do everything, each of us here can do something. And that's what matters the most right now. Do you agree with that? Yes. Fair enough. So collectively, Here's a room, we have a thousand friends and colleagues in here. You multiply that into really millions, and there's a multiplying factor past that, just in terms of friends, family, influence, and business and life, into a family to train, to educate, and to act. Millions to help heal the ocean in our choices, to look to the future with optimism under the Patty brand, instead of despair and outrage. So this Patty family, and here we are assembled in Orlando, Florida, under this roof, in this theater on the round or square or whatever this thing is, to help monitor and steward our ocean health for future generations. That feels noble. If and we train the global community of passionate souls who care about protecting the ocean both above in their daily lives and below the surface. A lot of you here in this room have done so many awesome things this whole past year since we engaged a, a forum like this, and for many years, for many if not most of you. So what we need to do is, is carry it forward, and that's what we're about. So tonight, I'm making a bold commitment. And that commitment is to our legacy, to your legacy, to your family's legacy, to be responsible ancestors and to our future. So in the next 50 years, because we're in year 53 here, since the founders brought this brand to life, and many of us were inspired and personalized that brand, through dedicated outreach and partnering with like-minded and concerned people and organizations, we're gonna aggregate a billion torchbearers, one billion torchbearers, who actively explore, steward, and protect our ocean. So based on current population trends, to do this, we're gonna need to impact the lives of one in every 10 people on this planet. One in every 10 people on this planet. That's Patty's new mission. Create a billion torchbearers to explore and to protect this ocean of ours. 
a mission that embraces what I like to refer to as the art of the possible, the art of the possible. So for current and future generations of divers, Patty's going to be a membership of torchbearers. It's clearly our destiny and legacy. And let me, let me explain why or illustrate why. It has been baked in to the Patty logo from the beginning. Look at the logo. You've got red. Red's a color of passion, passion and power, passion and strength, and blue against a blue planet, a color of loyalty, a color of trust. Passion, power, strength, loyalty, and trust. And there's a diver on that blue planet. The diver bears the torch. What's a torch? It's inspirational. It's illuminating. That could be education. That could be exploration. It's bold leadership. It's passion, power, and strength. So the ocean planet and this diver interacting here, embracing, interacting, are so hugely symbolic. It's our destiny on this planet. And it's, it's a prophecy in a way, way back when, which is now coming to fruition, that you're a part of. Maybe you look at what you're doing just a half a degree off of, of the way you perceive yourself or what, the importance of what you're doing. Based on that logo, it couldn't be more appropriate right now in this year and for the years ahead of us. It's a beautiful logo of torch bearing for the blue planet. So together, as committed torch bearers, we can now choose to deliver real change. Real change in our preferred view of the world. Our preferred view of the world. Not a, a world of outrage and despair, a preferred view. And in that world, that will be a world where humanity and the ocean live in a healthy balance, which is to suggest, when we look at this vision of achieving a balance between humanity and ocean, a balance that perhaps it's not in balance, and we know it isn't. We know it isn't. But what if, what if we push back on that in a constructive way and work towards, under our brand, a balance between humanity and ocean. So this focus really defines a vision as a brand that you support, that you're a member of, and as a company and an organization, as a membership family. The constructive tipping of the balance and the relationship between humanity and a planet that's going to be swelling to 11 billion people in, in the near future, and the ocean, which keeps us all alive. It's always provided for us, transportation, food, weather mitigation and so on. And here we are. Whoever knew that scuba diving under this brand would have such an opportunity to do something so important at a time that's so critical. But maybe that logo was a prophecy, was a symbol of our time here and now. So by the nature of what we already do, all of you, taking anyone into your dive centers, resorts, into your training programs, and taking them back to explore. Anybody that wants to explore the oceans from the surface to the abyss, we're influencers. We are all influencers. The brand is an influencer. Your dive centers, resorts, your prusana is an influencer. We create divers, explorers, and torchbearers. So we're going to provide that roadmap to launch them as ocean advocates for our ocean who are part of the solution. I know this because most of you are already doing it in some way. All I'm asking is that we do more of it and we do it faster. Do you agree with that? So I ask you to join me in a proactive, action-oriented, optimistic view of our ocean's future. So a billion, you probably looked at that and said, a billion? Really, a billion? And I say, why not? Why not a billion? If we can swell to 11 billion, why not a billion torchbearers? I'm not saying certifications per se. I'm saying torchbearers, like-minded people. And I would suggest to you, if not us, the people in this room, and your brothers and sisters across the planet, if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? You can lay down and give up, or you can lean in. And, and you're not the kind of folks that lay down for anything. So now's the time, and it's our opportunity to do something cool. So it's been said that folks who look back at their lives and they think about, well, most people, they never regretted aiming too high, maybe missing. But people's regrets are they, they didn't do anything or they aimed too low. So let's not make that mistake. 
So yes, a billion, a billion souls on this planet as torchbearers. That should be our objective. That might just make a difference. So here's how to put it. Five words, save, seek adventure, and save the ocean. Seek adventure and save the ocean. Five words that say it all. Enabling discovery, restoring the oceans. And it's gonna take time, and all I suggest to you on that vision is a balance. A balance. That's not wagging a finger, that's not radical. That's just sensible. I mean, this is our biosphere. You can see it from outer space. You look back on the Earth, it's pretty clear. There's a thin meniscus, a lot of blue stuff, and then there's nothing outside that atmosphere but a lack of oxygen. It's kind of cold. So this is where we live. We should take care of it. And the ocean is really important. And we just love the ocean. Who here hates the ocean? Hands up. Who here loves the ocean? Hands up. All right. So they go hand in hand because we really can't have one without the other. So I suggest to you this is the time, this is our time, this is our opportunity, and it is our responsibility to step up and lead the changes that make a difference, which define our, ourselves in a, a new and different way. So united as ambassadors with this common mission to attract and create torchbearers who explore and protect our oceans, we will succeed because we have both hope and we have optimism. Hope and optimism. But without action, hope's great. I mean, I'm a big fan of hope, but you got to do something because you can hope yourself into you know, not doing anything. But hope and action is a powerful combination. So we're going to succeed because we've got the strength in this room and across the planet. We've got the talent, we've got the vision, and we're going to succeed mostly because of that awe factor, because we love our ocean, and because we have a passion for exploring it and caring for it. And we're going to succeed because we will be resolute in being good ancestors. A lot of you here have your, your kids here with you, which is fantastic, and they'll have children one day, and that's the whole part about paying it forward. We'll succeed because we'll be resolute, we'll be focused, and we'll be relentless. So this mission, this vision, it's noble. And I'm hoping you're feeling it, and I'm hoping you want to be a part of it. Oh, many of you already are, and if you're on the fence, all I ask you to do is tip in, because it's just and it's vital. So that's why we're here. We've got a few other key messages to kick off. I want that to soak in. And I want to thank you very much for your kind attention here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. Thank you so much. Let's give it up for Drew Richardson, our president and CEO. Thank you. This is truly a moment in time for this organization. What you just witnessed, and if I may ask everybody in the audience, if you are inspired by that, if you want to be a torchbearer for this brand, if you want to take up that challenge that Drew just laid down, and if you want to go create a billion torchbearers out in the world to explore and protect our ocean, let's make noise one more time for Drew to let him know that we're behind him. That's right. All right, well, what you guys just witnessed is pretty monumental. It is a moment in time for the organization, for sure. Uh, tonight, the launch of a new mission, the organization's new vision for the future, and, uh, and certainly that is just fueling the growth of the organization as well. It hopefully is a, a mission that ignites some passion for you, right, that you can believe in. It's inspiration. Maybe it's even duty and honor. When you think about carrying a torch, I've always thought about that logo so inspirationally as, as, as something that you can really carry forward and, and eventually pass forward to somebody else, right? That's what is so symbolic about that logo that, uh, that came before us. And, and frankly, it will, this brand will outlast every one of us. So we have an obligation here as torchbearers to really push this forward. And uh, in order to accomplish that, right, one billion torchbearers is significant. So we better get busy, right? The only way to accomplish that is through really engaging our divers, our customers, our audience, and by inspiring their action. Drew spoke about action tonight. We want them to be with us for a lifetime. The only way we can do that is by providing the solutions to the needs that they have as customers, right? 
And uh, if we're able to do that, if we can meet their needs and provide those solutions, we will not only prolong the health of our sport and our industry, but we'll prolong the health of our ocean, which is really the deeper purpose of this brand and what we're all about, right? So I'm gonna suggest to you that we are the gateway or the pathway to the underwater world. When people come to us to learn to dive, they're not just coming to us for education, are they? They're coming to us because they want their dreams fulfilled, don't they? Sometimes dreams they don't even know are possible. So what do we do? We take them on a journey, a journey that blows their minds, right? So sometimes we talk about this in marketing speak as, as a customer experience or a customer journey. Now, if you were to Google customer journey, you would see some silly infographic like you see up on screen right now that basically just looks like a very strange and complicated pathway to interact with a brand. But really what I wanna to suggest to you tonight is that all of us have a very unique pathway and journey that we took to get us to where we are right now. So if you would, just go back in your own mind and think about what was your personal journey to get here. Something inspired you, right? Something influenced you? Was it something, was it someone? that inspired you on your journey? You went through that conversion funnel, maybe you became aware, you considered trying diving, and then you actually arrived, right? You became an open water diver. And I'm assuming you all loved it, right? Or you wouldn't be here today. So did your journey stop at open water diver? No, no of course not. That's only the beginning of our journey, right? You probably bought some equipment, you took some extra courses, maybe you bought some gear, maybe you took some travel experiences, maybe you joined a dive club to engage and meet new dive buddies. That's all part of your journey and your experience. So what we're doing here tonight is creating a journey, patty experience, right? And what we have put together and in front of you and what you'll learn about both tonight and also throughout the show and certainly the days and years to come is all about the patty experience, all of the elements to complete a unique customer experience for our divers, to help keep them engaged and inspired. And if we can do that, then that's how we're going to accomplish our mission of creating more torchbearers, right? We have compiled all of the components so that divers can do so much more of what they love both above and beneath the surface of the water, right? We wanna keep them excited in between one adventure to their next adventure, right? So what we have tonight, as you'll see throughout the room, we've got Patty Club in one corner, we've got Patty Travel in another corner, we've got Patty Gear in this corner over here. And I will tell you that they all offer endless opportunities, not only for your divers, but for you, the members, to make the most of your customers. So I encourage you to go talk to them. Start your journey tonight and throughout the show to figure out what's in it for you as the member. What's in it for the retailer? What's in it for your divers? Because we have assembled in a, a very unique set of benefits here so that we can provide those endless opportunities to fully submerse our divers into the dive in the ocean lifestyle. So when you combine that with the superior training that Patty has become uh, synonymous with, that's what we call the ultimate Patty experience. That's what it takes to fulfill our mission of creating those billion torchbearers. So I'm gonna show you a quick video and then we're gonna open bars back up, which will make everybody excited. <laughs> Woo, that's the loudest clap I've gotten all night. So before we do, uh, the guy running the video, it is his birthday tomorrow, and I wanted to do a quick shout out. The entire audience on the count of three is gonna say happy birthday to Aaron. One, two, three. Happy All right, I did promise that I wouldn't do that, and of course that we wouldn't divulge his age, but you only turned 50 one time in your lifetime, so you might as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron, if you're not mad at me, please roll that video.
So, I think there's three reasons why y'all are here tonight. One is to catch up with old friends. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Two is to feel a little inspiration, come to a safe house and get ready for the show. Yeah. And three is to do the ROI on drinking your dues to at least break even. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Drew, I, think I know this, you. I think that this half of the room is more interested in that. I don't know. Let's hear. Let's do a little competition. All right. here. This is my half over here. No, 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 all right. No, no. So I'm gonna no, 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 that. no. that's your half, and going we're down. gonna go with. Uh, I, I, I. What do you think? I'm gonna kill you. Is what's gonna happen. All right. We're gonna go with Seek flight. Adventure, and their half is Save the Ocean. Okay. 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 All right. My half. Come on. You're with me. Ready on three. One, two, three. Seek adventure. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on. That's pretty lame. <laughs> Let's do this. This is a game that I'm normally terribly uncomfortable with, so we just back me up here. How about save the ocean? Let me hear you. Save the ocean. What? Boom. All right, let me harmonize this because I love these people too. What about break even on my renewal dues? My... <laughs> okay, that was only half of you. That's okay. Fair enough. Look, we're going to wrap this in a minute, but the commitment at the end of the day is a commitment to diver safety. And it's really through, that's our core. So without it, that's our leading edge core in diver education. That's unwavering. So that, that's baked into everything going forward. And it's Really, when you think about this belief that in hope and optimism, you can't have it if you don't train divers that are comfortable and confident to push forward and keep them that way. So. Yeah, I agree. In fact, let's, let's represent that hope and optimism as the largest community of divers in the world so that we all seek adventure and save the ocean. And I think with that, there's really only one thing left to say tonight. What do you think? I think they should tell us. They should tell us. You guys know. You've been what coming happens? here for a while. What, what is it? Yes. The bar Welcome. is open. Wow! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't.